Hey y'all, welcome again. Big Sister Team Building, I am Cassandra with Big Sister Team Building. And we are gonna continue our journey on learning about beginning hiking. So today we're gonna talk about if you're gonna carry a, ba a day pack, we're gonna talk about what you can put in your first aid kit or what you can have in your first aid kit if you're gonna carry a day pack or if you're going backpack and what you, you might wanna have in your uh, first aid kit. But first, I wanna um, recap on what we talked about in the last video. We talked about if you, if you think you may be interested in beginning hiking, we um, I suggest that you go on some nature, some short nature trail hikes, some nature preserves, or some uh, uh, local uh, YMCA uh, if they have a trail that may help you get acclimated to hiking to see if that's something you want to do. But also, someone asked me, was I going to address the elephant in the room? Now, I, I haven't seen an elephant on any hiking trails that I've been on. But I'm going to humor you for a minute. If this is what you're talking about, I'm going to address it. A long time ago, someone wrote a song that says, this land is your land, this land is my land. From California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters, this land was made for you and me. Now, that's the last time we're gonna talk about that. Let me tell you something. Unless I'm walking through your front or backyard. If I'm on your private property, you might have something, some reason to say something to me. But if not, I'm going to hike where I want to hike as long as I'm not breaking the law. You don't have to acknowledge me, but you will. If you're on the same hiking trail that I'm on, you're going to respect my space. And you're going to keep Fido on a leash in my presence. Follow the rules. That's all I got to say about that. So, let's get into your first aid kit. Now, you don't have to go out and buy a first aid kit. You can make your own. This is a first aid kit that I keep in my car, um, in my bug out bag. And it's just a, a little pencil case. And I just made a, a little sticker. I think I got, I don't know why I got this sticker. I probably pulled it off of something else. But anyway, um, I put some first aid stuff in it. And this stays in my car. General first aid stuff. Gloves, general first aid stuff. So you don't have to go out and buy a first aid kit to put in your day pack. You don't have to do that. You can make your own. But I, I purchased this first aid kit when I first started uh, backpacking because, you know, I wanted to be a, a legit backpacker and have a first aid kit that said first aid because, you know, we just, we, I don't know. People are just weird like that. But most of the stuff that's in here was not in here when I purchased this first aid kit. Because, you know, when you get it, it's, it says it's got 27 things in it. But 28 of those, 26 of those things are probably Band-Aids and a roll of tape. And there you go. But most of the stuff that's in here, I put in here myself. So let's go through the first aid kit. And if you haven't, while I'm opening this, if you haven't checked out the video on the hiking trails at the at the Shield Museum in Gastonia, at the YMCA trail, and at the Oswan Nature Preserves video hiking uh, 
one zero one beginners uh part two three and four those have already been downloaded so i suggest you check those out if you haven't if you're still interested in hiking then next we'll talk about some longer hikes and we'll talk about some inclines but i'm gonna bust open this first aid kit and we're gonna talk about what's in it now this first aid kit came with a little pamphlet that talks about how you can uh, perform first aid on people. Now, if you're not trained to do CPR, don't be trying to do CPR on people. Uh, if you're not trained to to do major stuff, you know, just get a Band-Aid and get some duct tape and call it a day and call 911 if you, if you can. But in my first aid kit, but I am trained to do, I am trained in CPR and I think, um, I thank my friend Melvin Burris that always do our CPR training for Gaston, your Freedom School plug, plug. Um, and so to help me be up on my first stage and CPR skills. So first in my first aid kit, I have some big bandages and they're folded so they can fit. I have some big bandages in case I get a cut or something I fall and, and scrape my knee or scrape my elbow and it's bleeding to where if I don't if I wipe the blood off and it's continues to bleed then I might need a bigger bandage. The next thing if I can get it out of here is a roll of tape and it's squeezed tight so it can fit look like a little roll of toilet paper but it's not so it's a roll of tape. I have another roll of mole skin for some blisters on my longer hikes. I have some antibiotic cream. I have some, we call them popsicle sticks, big popsicle sticks in case um, there's a sprain or something that may need to be taped up, keep still. You know, you wanna, you wanna make a little blant and tie it and, and tape it down so it'll be still so you don't have too much movement in it until you get home or till you get some real medical care. I have some deep woods off. Of course, I got band-aids out of the yin-yang. Band-aids, band-aids, band-aids. You wanna make sure you have plenty of band-aids. Some poison ivy wipe. I have some new skin in case I don't want to put a band-aid on. You know how you can get a you can get a cut somewhere like in between your finger or something was not very uh, comfortable to put a band-aid. You want to put some new skin on it, put some new skin on it. I have some sting relief, more band-aids. My goodness, band-aids, band-aids. I'm gonna call them bandages because I don't want the Band-Aid company to be trying to sue me. But um, I have some aspirin. 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 What is that? I don't have my glasses on. Aspirin. After bite. That's for the after bite. <laughs> more aspirin. More Band-Aids. More Band-Aids. More Band-Aids. I have some gloves. In case I have to help somebody else on the trail and I don't want to, and they might be bleeding and I don't want to get their germs. Having gloves is always a good idea. Some burn cream in case I burn myself while I'm making a fire. I have some Q-tips, some bobby pins. Just might have to need those for something. I have some... Um, Advil, pain, scissors, tweezers. I have a, a, a female pad thing for leaks in case a bear scary and I have a little leak in my drawers. I mean, my underwear. <laughs> Alcohol wipes. 
an emergency blanket emergency uh blanket also in my first day kit i keep i keep um a bag all jokes aside seriously though you want to have things in your first aid kit that you think that you're going to need. If you know you're accident prone, if you know you're prone to falling and tripping and, and all this kind of stuff, take put in your first aid kit what you think you may need. Not what you think someone else may need, but all that stuff that's in that first aid kit may come handy to someone else on the trail. You know, I see all the time people walking on the trail with flip-flops and and having little children and and the children are not um dressed well and i children crying and they're falling and and you know they may skin and, and and parents don't have anything with them i mean it boggles my mind that people don't take precautions especially when you have children i mean it's okay if you're by yourself you're grown you do what you want to but if you have a child with you be be careful enough to take a first aid kit or something like i said throw something in a ziploc bag that you may need that you think you may need especially if you have a child with you um and just carry it on with you you can it's not put a, throw one of them little zip zack uh, bags on your back you don't have to go out and buy a backpack to go hiking or to go for a walk we're not this is hiking is one of the most economical activities that you i mean you're walking you're walking just throw some stuff together and take a walk um you know it's when you go on longer hikes and when you're going to be out for hours a couple of hours that you need to pay more attention to to what you have with you but what i was saying before i said all that is that i also in my first aid kit i have um a few um, samples of my own medication that I have and I have listed I have each bag listed what's in in the bag if I can get it out of here this land is your land let me sing that song so this is one of my medications and I have it listed on here what what it is and what what I take it for same thing with this. What it is and what I take it for. Take it for. That's in my first aid kit. You never know if you're going to be out there past your medication time. You have your medicine with you. Or if you become uh, unable to tell someone you have your medication with you. You have a list. I have a list written down in my emergency information. What time I'm supposed to have that medicine and what it's for. And so when you pack your bag, when you pack your, your day pack, um, just put a little information in it. Now, you don't want to have your home address, your social security number, your you know all that information um, in your pack but you want somebody to be able to see who you are and have an emergency uh, contact so I'm going to show you in my bag my emergency contact paper and what I've done, I took a picture of myself or an old picture and I taped it to a piece of paper. I taped it to a piece of paper and I have a description of myself on it. Now you can use a driver's license picture. You can make a copy of your driver's license and you can... Uh, 
white out or cut out all that information, all that private information that you don't want out there. So this is my little notepad. And I keep a notepad and a pencil in my in my day pack. You know, you get these things all the time at little at fairs and little um, vendor shows all the time and we just grab stuff but you know some of that stuff comes in handy so I keep my emergency information I laminated it's got my picture on it it's got my name it's got my it's got my name it's got my height and my weight it's got a list of uh, my tattoos where they are and what they are it also has my emergency contact you know my I have three emergency contacts on here it has a list of medications and what they're for it has um, what type of car that I may be driving and that's it it doesn't have my driver's license number. It doesn't have my tag number on it. It doesn't have my social security number on it. But it's enough information to where if I become unable to communicate, then people, whoever find my bag, can go through it and see who this is. Get my emergency contact. If they haven't called 911, first of all, you find me laying somewhere. Or you find my bag, you call 911 first. And if we're in a state park somewhere, you call 911 and then you call the ranger at the state park. So, this land is your land. This land. Now that song is stuck in my head. Uh, that's it for today. What's I, what I have in my first aid kit and talked about some emergency stuff. Next video, we're going to go through some gear um, that I take with me when I go hiking. It's not much more than what you've seen already, but we don't want these videos to be too long and you get bored and then you start talking. Yada, yada, yada. She, she ain't doing nothing but talking. It's that nothing. So, we're going to end it right here. So we talked about what's what's uh, we talked about some beginning hikes that you can take some short hikes at nature trail, uh, nature preserves, and at your fitness center if they have some. You can take some short hikes around your neighborhood. We talked about taking a first aid kit, packing one in your car, packing one in your day pack, carrying one with you, especially if you have children with you. Make you a first aid kit, get a ziploc bag, throw some stuff in it and be on your way until the next time be blessed stay blessed be kind to someone happy hiking and i love you